Today I want to talk to you about the best development environment for Python. So if you're developing Python code, uh, you want to know the best platform to help you save time and write code efficiently. And so there are a lot of different development environments to choose from. I want to walk through some of the most popular ones from my experience uh, as seven years as a Python developer. First, what is the difference between a code editor and an IDE? So a code editor is basically a text editor, it lets you write a text document, but it also has syntax highlighting for different programming languages. It has code completion, it has refactoring, it has other features to help make you more efficient as a programmer. And an IDE takes all those features of the code editor, but it stacks on top of that an automated build tool so that you can automatically build your project, especially if there are multiple code files, it can build all of those together. Uh, compiler and or interpreter, uh, debugger, Package manager built in, so you can track and update and uh, install new packages. Version control system, so that you can easily back up your code to GitHub or Bitbucket or whatever your favorite version control system is. And then a class and function mapping, so that if you have a bunch of different classes and functions, you can quickly and easily see where all those map to. So a code editor is basically a simple text editor with some features to help you write code. IDE has a whole bunch of different debugging features and stuff built in. So what is the best IDE for Python developers? I think, from my experience, I've used PyCharm and I strongly recommend that. That's my first pick. So it's an integrated development environment. It supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. And it, they have a free version called the community version and a paid or professional version. PyCharm is excellent. It was specially developed just for Python. Number two is Spider, and Spider is included with the Anaconda distribution of Python. So if you already have Anaconda as your Python distribution, then you already have Spider installed. Uh, I have not personally used Spider, but to me, uh, I don't I don't see how it could be better than PyCharm. But anyway, number three, Eclipse. Eclipse is already the world's most popular IDE, and if you install the plugin PyDev, you can do Python editing in Eclipse. Eclipse supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. And then the Microsoft IDE is called Visual Studio Code. So that's a pretty good IDE, especially if you come from a C background or a .NET background. You've probably already used uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, that supports Windows, Mac, and Linux as well. And then Idle is Python's kind of default built-in code editor. Uh, to me, I feel like that's too basic. It lacks a lot of the higher-end features. For a beginner, maybe that's okay to get started programming Python, but long-term, it's not going to be sufficient. And then a few others worth mentioning is uh, Komodo, Wing, Emacs, and Eric are all uh, different IDEs that are fairly popular. Now, code editors. I'm kind of biased towards Notepad++ because I've been using it for years, and I really like it. So I've done a couple of tutorial videos on Notepad++. And the only drawback of Notepad++, as I can see it, is that it only supports Windows. They don't have a Mac or Linux version of Notepad++. But on the plus side, it's lighter weight and it's faster because it's optimized for Windows. So it runs really well on Windows. So Notepad++, I strongly recommend. It supports not only Python, but also a bunch of different other programming languages. So I do a lot of Java development, uh, JavaScript, HTML, you name it. Syntax highlighting and everything is included for a bunch of different languages. Sublime Text is also a very popular code editor. Uh, Sublime Text is very similar to Notepad++ in terms of features, look and feel, and everything. I feel like Sublime Text is, is very comparable. But it supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's free to evaluate, but it costs $70 to get the regular version of it. And then Atom is a popular code editor that is browser-based. So that's a nice option if you want uh, mobile t code development. And it's from GitHub. It's actually developed by GitHub. And it's free. So it supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. And then lastly, Vim. Vim is a, a basically a Linux text editor. Now it supports Windows, Linux, and Mac. So a couple of other options here that don't really fit into the IDE or code editor category. One is Jupyter Notebook. So if you haven't used Jupyter Notebook before, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's a great instructional tool because it allows you to put both code, uh, comments, markdown, and output in small blocks and explain what everything does as you go. And you can run small blocks of code at a time. It's really great. And so you're actually building up a notebook of, of comments and stuff on what the code is doing. And it's a great learning tool. 
Now it's not so useful for actual software development, but it is really great as an instructional tool. In Thought Canopy is very similar to Anaconda and it's actually a Python distribution and it has a pretty good package manager built in and especially it's good for scientific computing because they have a lot of different scientific computing packages built in. So that's another option. So for me, the winners, which one do I pick? Which one do I strongly recommend? PyCharm, I think, is the best integrated IDE for Python. And then Notepad++ and Sublime, I think, are both excellent code editors. Jupyter is fantastic for notebooks. And then if you're an Anaconda user, you might try Spider. If you're an Eclipse fanatic, then Eclipse PyDev. Those are the ones I recommend. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Please leave your comments down below on your favorite code editor or IDE. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.